So over the weekend, I had a bit of time on my hand and I wanted to try out some of the new features in the latest October 2017 Power BI release. So while looking for an interesting data set, I thought about the Austrian election that is uh, coming up on the 15th of October. And uh, as most of you know, this is the country where I was born before I moved to Australia. And um, I came across an interesting uh, website called Neuval and the Neuval operators uh, aggregate all the polls um, for the election. So they have all the poll results for the election and they're kind enough to make it available in JSON format uh, that um, of course Power BI can work quite well with. So I started my shiny new latest version of the Power BI engine and put this analysis together in about an hour. So what we can see here are a few elements. So here we can see the, the poll results over time and the time can be specified here. So I can either now change um, to the particular time frame, or I can use one of the new features in Power BI called bookmark. So if I just want to see the last four months, I can click on that and now I just get the last four months. If I want to go back to the eight years, I can go back to the eight years, an easy way to jump back and forth. So here are the, the poll results now, and this shows a little bit the Austrian political landscape. So we see we had typically in the lead three parties, the People's Party, the Social Democrats and the Freedom Party. And that was pretty stable um, from 29 onwards until 2014, where there were just little changes um, between the parties. But if we look um, at the detail, um, we can see that this is now quite dramatically changing. So um, we see particularly here in May 2017, there was a, a, a really um, big change. So the People's Party went from number three position to the top position, so from around 21% um, to um, nearly 34% in the poll, so a big jump of you know, around um, 10 percentage points. Um, but also um, uh, behind them, um, there is quite a bit of change even over time. And um, it's potentially um, uh, a sign of the times that um, the old loyalties um, are not in place anymore and people are changing um, their behavior in regards to who they vote for fairly quickly. On the right side here, we can see the details that are behind the values. So if I click on one of the values, I get the links to the publication that um, make up um, the polls for that day. So if I click now on this link, I get to the uh, page um, or the, the newspaper where the uh, numbers are coming from. So the poll results are coming from. So a nice link back to the original data. At the top here, um, I'm using uh, a comparison of the last election in 2013 to the poll, to the average poll results that are selected here. And so we can see if we take the last four months into account, but again, this um, can of course be changed. Um, it looks like the People's Party will be the big winner of the election. The SPA fairly, um, pretty much in the same place, a bit of a win for the FPÖ and the big losers will be the, the Green Party. So this is just um, a quick demonstration of what can be done um, with Power BI. If you are interested in any further information or um, using this technology in your env environment, please feel free to contact us.